Uh, good afternoon, dear students. My name is Nadia Igorevna, and I am from the Department of Foreign Languages. I'm a teacher of English, and today uh, the topic of our class is food. Um, I'm, I'm sure you know a lot of uh, food products in English, yeah? And, but probably you will come across of some new vocabulary, some new words. Okay, uh, can you open your book at page 88, exercise one, and you can see four columns four columns with fruits, vegetables, meat, and seafood. Okay, let's read out the first column. Let me start, okay? The first, uh, fruit. Mm -hmm. But the task will be, okay, to cross out some uh, words that don't refer to fruit, okay, here. Okay, listen, apple, Banana, carrot, blackberry, cherry, prawn, orange, peach, plum, strawberry. Okay, have you come across any unknown word here? And probably you know which are extra here. Are all of them fruit? Carrot is not a fruit. Right, you are. Thank you. Carrot is not a fruit. Prawn is not a fruit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, vegetables. Could you read out, okay, the vegetables? Mm -hmm. Vocabulary, please. Bean, grape. Cabbage, cucumber, celery, celery, lettuce, uh, lettuce, mushroom, 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 potato, onion, broccoli, garlic, garlic. Gar yes. Okay. Maybe you know which are extra. Mm -hmm. words here. Ham. Ham. Yeah. It's not a vegetable. Okay. And? Grape. And grape. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, uh, what about meat? Mm -hmm. Could you read out, please? Mm -hmm. Bacon. Bacon, beef, chicken, tuna, lamb, pork, sausage, sausage, and turkey, turkey, mm -hmm. steak. pear, steak, mm -hmm. okay, beef, beef is a flesh of a cattle, of uh, cows, and lamb, Okay, is the flesh of a young sheep. And pork is meat from a pig. All are meat here? Meat words here? Pear, pear, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a fruit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about seafood? Here, I can help you. Mm -hmm. Cod, look at picture, it's a seafood, it's a fish, a cod, a cod. Mm -hmm. Leek, is it a seafood, is it a fish? Leek, who knows? Uh, it's vegetable. It's a vegetable, mm -hmm. it's a vegetable, thank you. It's uh, from vegetable category. Now, uh, salmon. Look up here, it's a salmon. So it's a seafood, right? Herring is here, it's 
carrying. Mm -hmm. Crab. It's a crab. Lobster. You can see a lobster here. Picture of lobster here. It's a, maybe you know, it's an octopus. It's an octopus. It's a mackerel. And this is a prawn. This is a prawn. All of them are seafood, okay? Mm -hmm. From seafood category. Thank you. Now, um, exercise two. And please tell your partner, but you can tell us mm -hmm. uh, if mm, are there any are there any food products you have never tasted? Mm -hmm. Please. I have never tasted lobsters. Lobsters. Mm -hmm. I have never tasted the crab. 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 And my crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, I have never tasted flowers. 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 Which flower? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And? Mm -hmm. I have never tested um, leek. A leek. Mm -hmm. A leek. Uh, what about you? Mm -hmm. Octopus. Mm -hmm. Any octopus in your life. Thank you. In access three, you see a refrigerator, yeah, full of um, food products. Mm -hmm. And you have to label the pictures with the correct words. Okay, number one. Can you guess yeah. what it's a? Yeah, but pronounce, please, it's a flower, flower, mm-hmm, flower, thank you very much. Um, number two, sugar, sugar. Mm -hmm. do you, are you sure in spelling of these words? I can show them to you. Okay, the first one is flower. Flower. Mm -hmm. The second is sugar. Is sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one. It's a beans. Beans. Right, you are. Thank you. Beans. Okay. The fourth. Object here is biscuits, biscuits or uh, cookies. cookies. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Biscuits. If you are not sure about the spelling of the mm -hmm, of the words, you can check. Okay. What is in the bowel? What can you see in the bowel? In picture five. It's a corn flakes. Corn flakes. Corn flakes. Mm -hmm. Corn flakes. Picture number six. Not picture, but an object. Here it's rice. It's rice. Mm -hmm. Next, number seven. You know, pasta. Mm -hmm. And okay, the noodles and uh, spaghetti. Yeah, but here's pasta. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, next one. Mm -hmm. Salt. Mm -hmm. Salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is easy to guess. Chicken. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Next. Cheese. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Number 11. Eggs. Eggs. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Butter. Butter. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. Pizza. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Number fourteen. Milk. Uh, it's cream. It's cream. Cream. What about 15? Number 15, yogurt. Mm -hmm. The spelling of the word is here. You can see. Okay, and check. And one more object. Orange juice. Orange juice. And the last one. Milk. Mm -hmm. It's easy. What products do you usually buy at the supermarket and keep in your fridge? Mm -hmm. Please. Maybe. Mm -hmm. What do you usually buy at the supermarket? I buy. The chicken. Mm -hmm. And? And eggs. And eggs. Only one. Okay, and eggs. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and you? I Ladies? Milk and yogurt. And yogurt. Mm -hmm. And now, exercise four. Mm -hmm. Cereal. You can find cereal and see here, cereal. It's a uh, honey, <laughs> um, chocolate, sandwiches, bread, tomatoes, tea, ice cream, ice cream, crisps, and water. I'm, I hope you know these words. Yeah, and now, mm -hmm, Let's complete the gaps with the correct words. Mm -hmm. A bottle of water. Mm -hmm. A loaf of bread. bread. Mm -hmm. A bowl of cereal. cereal. A bar of chocolate. chocolate. Mm -hmm. A top or three tops of ice cream. Mm -hmm. A jar of honey, of honey, a cup of tea, a tin of tomatoes or American tomatoes, and a plate of sandwiches. Sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, please make up your own sentences. Mm -hmm. Take your time. One by one, okay? Would you, mm -hmm. would you like to start? What's your name? My name is Halia. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you here. Halia, okay. Uh, can you make up a sentence with a bottle of water? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. thank you, yeah. Uh, uh, every morning I drink a bottle of water. Yes, a good sentence, a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's very useful and healthy mm, for us to drink water and to start the day with some fresh water. Mm -hmm. And it's good to drink up a bottle of water. <laughs> Thank you. And now, um, 
What's your name? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. And a loaf of bread, or you can choose. Mm -hmm. And make up your own sentence, please. You're welcome. I love it bread. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, one by one, just uh, tell me no your name. Mm -hmm. A cup. You drank, okay? You drank a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And? My name is Paula. Uh, I very like eating chocolate. Mm -hmm. You like eating chocolate very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My name is Svetoslav. Nice to meet you. My mom very like eating tomatoes. Okay. Um, very much, yeah, okay. She likes eating uh, very much. Mm -hmm. uh, and one more. Mm -hmm. Girl Hala, yeah? Victoria. Victoria. I don't like eat uh, honey. Okay, eating honey. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And now exercise 10. At the bottom of the page, you can see unscrambled. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to unscramble the words to complete the expressions. And I can help you. Okay. It's a... Apple. It's an orange. Oh, apple. It's, here's apple juice. Yeah, apple juice. It's a carton of uh, apple juice. Carton. Mm -hmm. Milk. Mm -hmm. And where is the milk? In a jug. In a jug. A jug of milk. Jug of milk. You have to unscramble mm -hmm, the words. A cake. I'm sure you know. A cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Birthday cake. And you eat not the whole cake okay but a piece a piece of cake a piece of cake thank you a piece of cake it's a okay this bacon bacon and rasher of bacon rasher of baking Mm -hmm. Rasher of bacon. Tea. It's a pot of tea. It's a pot of tea. Mm -hmm. What about sugar. sugar? And it's in a spoon, okay, spoonful of sugar, spoonful of sugar. Complete expressions, please. Mm -hmm. It's a tea bags in a box. in a box, okay, box of tea bags, and. Yeah, paste, okay. Uh, and it's a tube. Mm -hmm. A tube, okay. okay exercise five. Mm -hmm. Let's. Mm, um, okay, read, read the words. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Do you know the meaning of the word fresh? Yes, I think. Okay, it's uh, food or flowers in natural condition. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about baked? Baked and baked beans. Baked beans, okay, beans that have been cooked in tomato sauce, sugar and spices, and they are usually sold in tins. Uh, okay. 
which word means turned into ice or uh, of food preserved by freezing. Which one? Frozen. Frozen. Thank you. Okay. Uh, no longer new or fresh, usually as a result of being kept for too long. For too long. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not fresh. And it's it's stale, stale. Milk from which the cream has been removed. Milk from which the cream has been removed. Okay, Th thank you, skimmed milk. Mm -hmm. Food that is tinned and is put in a tin in order to preserve it. Mm -hmm. It's a tinned food, tinned food. A uh, sparkling drink is one that contains many small bubbles uh, of gas. Mm -hmm. It's sparkling, sparkling, okay, sparkling, um, and we will see. Low calorie, something containing fewer calories, yeah, it's easy to guess. Then dried, dried. Dried food or plants have had all their liquid removed, especially in order to stop them from decaying. Dried. A soft drink. What is a soft drink? It's a drink that doesn't contain alcohol and it's usually okay, sweet and cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please complete the sentences with the correct words in the box. The first sentence. Can you get me some peas from the freezer, please? What kind of peas? Mm -hmm. Frozen peas. Thank you. Uh, number two. These breads a bit Stale. Don't eat it. Mm -hmm. Some milk is much better for you than full fat. What milk, okay, is much better? Skimmed milk. Thank you. Number four. When I was a child, I absolutely loved some beans, baked beans on toast. Number five. We usually keep some Tinned peaches in the cupboard. Thank you. Number six. On a hot day like this, a glass of sparkling water is very refreshing. Uh, number seven. I am watching my weight, so I'll have some low calorie, low calorie lemonade, please. Eight. Number eight. My cousin adds some dried, dried herbs from a packet to the stew before she puts it in the oven. Um, nine, my parents never drink wine or beer, only Salt. drinks. Mm -hmm. Ten, my mom regularly buys vegetables from the local market. Fresh vegetables, mm -hmm. fresh vegetables, thank you. Now, exercise seven. Mm -hmm. Tell your partner your favorite type of food. Mm -hmm. um, tell uh, about some cheese or soft drink, which is your favorite, or fruit, or a sandwich, or tinned food, soup, or flavor of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Which is your, Vika, which is your uh, favorite flavor mm -hmm, of ice cream? Vanilla, chocolate. Mm -hmm. Is chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, which is your favorite soup? My favorite soup for is pea. Pea soup. Mm -hmm. uh, which is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit 
is okay um, and which is your favorite mm, sandwich Okay, hamburger. Okay, <laughs> and what, which is your uh, your favorite sandwich? Mm -hmm. My favorite sandwich is panini. Panini. <laughs> okay, um, meat, chicken, panini, ham, and cheese. 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 Okay, cheese panini. Mm -hmm. Not sandwich. Not a sandwich. Thank you. Now we're we're switching to listening. Okay, to listening section. Um, Please be attentive and careful. You will listen to the taste to the recording twice, okay? But before listening um, the track, look through the task you will have mm, to do after. You will hear mm, twice six extracts for each text to choose the answer, uh, which fits best according to what you hear. It's very important mm -hmm, uh, to, be, to be careful, okay, attentive, prick your ears, mm -hmm, and um, please, you can even take notes in case you need. Mm -hmm. Look through the tasks, through the sentences and the answers, and be ready to listen to and choose the appropriate answer. So, Diane, tell us once again what candidates you're trying to find. Okay, not just anyone with a passion for cooking, but someone both creative and well-educated. A perfect candidate should skillfully prepare meals which look attractive and taste delicious. This person should also have a wide knowledge of food science and diet. So a chef, in other words. Not exactly. I'd say a combination of a chef and a food stylist. Oh, I see. And the candidates should contact the Food Paradise restaurant, right? That's right. Thank you, Diane. Two. Last year when I was visiting the USA, my friend took me to the world of Coca-Cola in Atlanta. It's a huge museum dedicated to this fizzy drink. I was really impressed with all the exhibitions, especially the one showing every single type of Coke bottle ever produced over the years. There were 4D presentations on the most important events in the history of this drink. I could taste almost all the Coca-Cola flavors ever made and have a photo taken with the most famous polar bear in the world. It was just awesome. Three. What do you think of that new Italian restaurant? I found the atmosphere just perfect. The decor was very tasteful too. I agree, but I wasn't sure about the choice of dishes. Some of the most popular Italian dishes were not on the menu. However, I must say that most of the food I tasted was truly terrific. The chef is Italian, so he knows his cuisine well, don't you think? Absolutely. In my review, I'm going to recommend the place as very cozy with original Italian specialities. I won't be too critical either. Four. I've always loved cooking and eating unusual dishes. I never miss a chance to watch cookery programs which show how to prepare them. So it isn't surprising that when in one of the shows I heard about a new cookery course organised in my local youth centre, I got excited. The course is on food pairing. You know, the science of combining different ingredients to create original tastes. The only trouble is that the course costs twice as much as any other course I've attended before. Bye. Joe, what's your idea of comfort food? You mean food that reminds me of homemade meals? Why are you asking anyway? I'm asking because yesterday when I went out with my friends, almost no one ordered a British dish. I was a bit surprised to be honest. When I asked my friends for the reasons, they said they didn't like our traditional food. I must say I like English cuisine. I just love cottage pie or Yorkshire pudding. I guess most of your friends were fed ready-made pizzas or curry dishes, and they treat those as their comfort food. Yes, maybe. Six. 
My brother has always been into cooking, so over the years he's learned how to cook a great number of dishes for someone his age. His most impressive one is the sweet and sour Chinese chicken dish, and his second best is Greek moussaka. He really feels confident about cooking almost anything except maybe a real Indian curry. The reason is he can't find all the ingredients to make real curry. To find. Okay. Not just anyone with a passion for cooking. CD one track twenty eight. One. So Diane, tell us once again what candidates you're trying to find. Okay. Not just anyone with a passion for cooking. But someone both creative and well educated, a perfect candidate should skillfully prepare meals which look attractive and taste delicious. This person should also have a wide knowledge of food science and diet. So a chef, in other words. Not exactly. I'd say a combination of a chef and a food stylist. Oh, I see. And the candidates should contact the Food Paradise Restaurant, right? That's right. Thank you, Diane. Last year, when I was visiting the USA, my friend took me to the world of Coca-Cola in Atlanta. It's a huge museum dedicated to this fizzy drink. I was really impressed with all the exhibitions, especially the one showing every single type of Coke bottle ever produced over the years. There were 4D presentations on the most important events in the history of this drink. I could taste almost all the Coca-Cola flavors ever made, and have a photo taken with the most famous polar bear in the world. It was just awesome. Three. What do you think of that new Italian restaurant? I found the atmosphere just perfect. The decor was very tasteful too. I agree, but I wasn't sure about the choice of dishes. Some of the most popular Italian dishes were not on the menu. However, I must say that most of the food I tasted was truly terrific. The chef is Italian, so he knows his cuisine well, don't you think? Absolutely. In my review, I'm going to recommend the place as very cozy with original Italian specialities. I won't be too critical either. Four. I've always loved cooking and eating unusual dishes. I never miss a chance to watch cookery programs which show how to prepare them. So it isn't surprising that when in one of the shows I heard about a new cookery course organised in my local youth centre, I got excited. The course is on food pairing. You know, the science of combining different ingredients to create original tastes. The only trouble is that the course costs twice as much as any other course I've attended before. Bye. Joe, what's your idea of comfort food? You mean food that reminds me of homemade meals? Why are you asking anyway? I'm asking because yesterday when I went out with my friends, almost no one ordered a British dish. I was a bit surprised to be honest. When I asked my friends for the reasons, they said they didn't like our traditional food. I must say I like English cuisine. I just love cottage pie or Yorkshire pudding. I guess most of your friends were fed ready-made pizzas or curry dishes. And they treat those as their comfort food. Yes, maybe. Six. My brother has always been into cooking, so over the years he's learned how to cook a great number of dishes for someone his age. His most impressive one is the sweet and sour Chinese chicken dish, and his second best is Greek moussaka. He really feels confident about cooking almost anything except maybe a real Indian curry. The reason is he can't find all the ingredients to make real curry. What are your answers? Mm -hmm. Extract one. Both look and taste good. Mainly look good or main, mainly taste good. Which one? Mainly taste good. Mainly taste good. No, incorrect. Both look and taste good. Extract two. What was the speaker impressed with, the, with in the museum? A presentation of a detailed history of Coke, all Coke flavors tasting, and the display of all Coke bottles ever made. Maybe 
what do you think? Not A. It's C, the display of all Coke bottles ever made. Mm -hmm. You've got C. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, extract three. Who are the speakers? Who are the speakers? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Uh, what can the girl's brother cook best? A Chinese dish. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Today, uh, we will, I will explain to you okay, the usage of past perfect. Mm -hmm. The structure of past perfect. Mm -hmm. um, if someone knows, okay, you have a chance to uh, to uh, review okay some of the material mm -hmm. uh, when do we use past perfect okay when actions when actions and situations okay precede the other past actions yeah and let's practice okay affirmative sentences mm -hmm. we uh, you we use the pronouns here, okay, had plus the verb. Mm -hmm. For regular verbs, we add ed. For irregular verbs, okay, we uh, use the third column mm -hmm. of irregular verbs. Now, let's practice um, affirmative sentences. I had cooked. Mm -hmm. You, please, you, just repeat, okay? I had cooked. Repeat all together. I had cooked. You had cooked. He had cooked. She had cooked. It had cooked. We had cooked. They had cooked. For regular verb, mm -hmm. cook. Mm -hmm. Cook. We add ending ed, okay? Now, irregular. Uh, I and con contracted form, okay? I drunk. Repeat. I'd drunk. You'd drunk. Uh, he'd drunk. She'd drunk. It drunk. We'd drunk. They'd drunk. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, negative sentences. Mm -hmm. How? Do we make negative sentences? We add mm -hmm, the particle not. Mm -hmm. I hadn't, I had not cooked. You had not cooked. He, she, it, we, they. Right. Mm -hmm. And the question, interrogative sentences, we put had in front of the sentence. Mm -hmm. And had I, had I drunk, had I drunk, mm -hmm. uh, okay, had I drunk a bottle of water, okay, um, by, by the lunch, okay, by lunch, had you drunk, had he drunk, had she drunk, had it drunk, had we drunk, had they drunk. And here you have signal, signal words. Mm -hmm. When we use, okay, um, past perfect, by the, by 6 a.m. yesterday, um, I had, uh, I had, I had had five uh, classes, okay? Now, by the time, by the time, by the time Paul got to the party, we had eaten all the food. We had eaten all the food. And when, and after, and before, and as soon as, and until. Now, okay, do the exercise this, please. Page 31. Mm -hmm. 
you went to Sue's house, but she wasn't there. And you can use past perfect to express. Mm -hmm. She had gone out, thank you, she had gone out. Mm -hmm. You went back to your hometown after many years. It wasn't the same as before. It changed a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's practice past perfect structure. Mm -hmm. And my colleague will explain to you mm -hmm, the usage yeah, of all mm -hmm of uh, past uh, perfect and the rules you you went back to your hometown after many years it wasn't the same as before it had changed a lot thank you i invited rachel to the party but she couldn't come she had arranged mm -hmm, to do something else okay you went to the cinema last night, you got to the cinema late. Started. Thank you. It was nice to see Daniel again after such a long time. Yeah. I offered you I offered you something to eat, but she wasn't hungry. She had just had breakfast. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And now it's the end of a class. Mm -hmm. uh, our time is over and your home task uh, is uh, reading section. Okay, it's page uh, 94. Read three texts about food and you will have to match questions with the correct answers. Okay, at home. And Practice past perfect mm -hmm. um, by doing the, this following exercises, two, three, and four. Thank you so much for your cooperation. It's, uh, it's been a great pleasure for me okay, to meet you here and to teach you. Thank you. Bye.